I did not want to make this video, but there are some RV companies that are spreading some lies about me and I need to set the record straight. If you're new here, my name is Jacob and I'm a certified RV technician and I've gone undercover to review RVs at dealerships. By the way, if you're shopping RVs, make sure to go download my free Don't Buy a Lemon guide. This will teach you how to spot manufacturing defects. Brands have had very different reactions to my critical reviews of their RVs. Some have been reasonable and some have resorted to spreading lies about me. Specifically, the lie that I am, quote, unwilling to talk to manufacturers. So before I go into the specifics of what happened, I want everyone to understand my five rules for how I interact with manufacturers. Rule number one, if I say something factually inaccurate in a video, I will fix it. Depending on how severe the inaccuracy is, I will either redact a part of the video or post a comment correction or take the whole video down and make a new one. I've actually done this. I used to say that a lot of RVs are not plumbed to code. Now, the truth is much messier than that, which is why not only have I gone and redacted all the videos where I said that, but I also made a new video updating you on what the plumbing codes actually are and why there's a lot of BS surrounding it. Folks also made a video a very long time ago about RV maintenance myths, where I said something inaccurate about talcum powder on slide seals. I ended up taking that whole video down because I want to make sure that the information I'm sharing with you is accurate. When I say I'll change something if it's factually inaccurate, that means factually inaccurate, not just if the brand doesn't like the way my review came out. For example, if I say this RV has thermofoil counters in it and thermofoil is prone to water damage and not durable, if the RV actually has Formica countertops, please let me know and I'll change the video. Video. But if RV manufacturers just want you to believe that thermophore countertops are plenty durable because it's cheap for them to manufacture, I'm not going to change that. My second rule in dealing with RV manufacturers is I do not do phone calls. No one really gets to run an RV company without being a certain level of charismatic. A lot of these manufacturers have reached out trying to befriend me. Like they want to get on the phone and just chat. This is a smart technique on their part because if they form a more personal relationship with me, it makes it harder for me to be critical because I'm a human and I don't want to say things about my friends that would reflect poorly on their brand. So no, I'm not friends with manufacturers. Another reason that I don't do phone calls is that phone calls are off the record. This leads me to my third rule, which is I don't do any off the record conversations with manufacturers. Video calls, phone calls, in-person networking, none of that. If a manufacturer wants to tell me, for example, that they have magic special plumbing, I want a written record of the technical details of what they're claiming. And also, if they're telling me that they're going to change something on their RV, I want a written record of that promise as well. Folks, if you want to see some of the dirty truth about how RV manufacturers treat YouTubers, like you should go watch Liz Amazing's channel. She made the honest mistake of trusting Tiffin when they said they wanted to chat off the record, they tried to buy her silence on a video that was critical of Tiffin Motorhomes. By the way, because I don't have any off the record conversations, I have written proof of some of the lies that brands are spreading about me and my channel. This brings me to my fourth rule, which is I don't do any factory tours. A lot of what these brands will try to do with YouTubers is they bring you into a factory tour and they'll show you their best prettiest RV and they'll wine and dine you. All I care about is what ends up on the lot for people to buy, which is why I go to the lot at random and pick RVs to review because that's what's available to buy. And this leads me to my fifth and final rule, which is I do not do brand deals. Here's what bugs me. Manufacturers are telling people, they're spreading the message that I don't really care about RVers. I just want to sell courses. Here's the deal, folks. I've had over 30 companies reach out to me offering brand deals, which I have said no to all of that money on principle because I want to keep my reviews as objective, honest, and unbiased as possible. Until your channel gets like a million subscribers, it is not enough to make a living off of just YouTube ad revenue. A lot of YouTubers just have to take brand deals and sponsorships because that's the only way to make their channel work financially. I chose instead of any brand deals or sponsorships to make courses that actually help our viewers so I can remain financially independent from the entities that I'm trying to review. I really believe in my courses. One of my products, Tool Free RV Maintenance, covers 15 
15 tips that can save you at least $50,000 in repair costs. In my experience, at least a quarter of the repairs that I've done have been completely preventable. This course covers five minute things that you can do and 40% of these tips are just usage based. It's not even something you have to go out of your way to do. It's just understanding how to use your camper as you're out camping so that you can avoid breaking it. Half the battle in getting a good RV experience is in not breaking your camper, but the other half is in buying smart so that you can avoid lemons. That's why I created my RV shopping course to help you shop smart because RV manufacturers and salesmen and dealerships, they want you to believe that the quality is all equal. But I'm here to tell you as the guy who has to fix all these RVs, the quality is not all equal. Instead of these RV manufacturers taking the criticism and using it to improve their RVs, they're turning around oftentimes and digging in their heels and they're telling you to not trust me because I sell courses that actually help people. Folks, I'm going to be super transparent with you on this channel about how I make money and where my interest and loyalty lies. And the reality is my loyalty lies with my viewers because that's who actually pays the bills, not the RV manufacturers. There are two manufacturers who have been telling customers that I quote, won't talk to them. What they're really trying to do is to communicate to people that my reviews are inaccurate and I won't fix them. What these brands seem to have forgotten is that their customers are my viewers and they can't say one thing to my face and then another thing to their customers and it not get back to me. Folks, I have responded to every RV manufacturer who's reached out to me within two hours. One of these groups, I'll call them brand A, I've been emailing their VP of marketing while their employees are posting in private groups online that I am quote, unwilling to talk to them. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm literally talking to the VP of marketing. The other brand, which I'm gonna call brand B, one of the owners of the company called me. And when I texted him back to explain I don't do phone calls, but he was welcome to email information to me, I've gotten radio silence. They then turned around and told all their customers that they have special magical plumbing and that I am quote, unwilling to Talk. I've chosen to not name these brands in this video because I really want my reviews to focus on the quality of the RVs and not the companies behind them. But if you ever hear a brand tell you that I quote, won't talk to them, what they're really explaining is that they cannot buy a positive review from me. If you want to know more dirty secrets about the RV industry, click here for a playlist. And if you want to see all of my undercover reviews of RVs that are still not biased because no one owns me, click here.